I'm not sure how I'm going to change my entire Twitch page. I know I got a shit list of a lot of them individually linked. I'm going to have to make a zip file and have it all bulked and ready to go. So you guys can download it on your pleasure. As well as a list of what's everything included. Because once I move on to other games, I know a lot of people are going to be like, what's your mod list? And it's like, okay, here, it's this link. I'll get everything ready. This is what this video is about. Furthermore, I'm going to be discussing every single mod, what's recommended, and how to install them. So, with that being said, let's get started. So the first thing you want to get is called Super BLT. It's not a mod itself, it's just a DLL file. And you drop it into the root of your Payday 2 Steam folder. So if I scroll down here, there's WSOC32.dll. And as you can see, it's inside your C program file, Steam apps, common Payday 2. That's the very first thing you want to do to get mods. After that, you should get an install mods, and you should get something like Super BLT here. There used to be other previous versions of BLT, just get Super BLT, it works with 99% of everything anyways. Except for really old shit, which should be updated, but nonetheless, here it is. Now I don't know what Overkill is going to do for the future of modding. Because I know like future updates it does sometimes, modding can break. So either you're going to have to wait patiently for mod creators or uh, hopefully work as a community to make something new. But this is number one to get it started. So where do I get Super BLT? I do have my Steam page with a DSOD Loud Guide that slightly explains it, but I'll be going in more detail. But basically, I have a link for Super BLT here. So I'm going to share my desktop now. And I have everything that you pretty much have ready to go. So after you open up that Super BLT link, you get a nice little wall of text. Basically says place it inside your Payday 2 folder right here. You just download the DLL right here, drop it in. That simple, now you can get started. This is priority number one. Number two is inside the same directory, there's a little mods folder and this is where all the game-changing major stuff is gonna happen. Such as wall FUD, low violence mode, and all this other fancy stuff you see here. The biggest thing for customization mods you're probably gonna need is beer lib. This will affect customized masks, custom music, and other various sorts of things. Beer lib, you can get it from the mod workshop, which is 90% of my tabs as you see up here. So you simply just download it and drop it into your mods folder. On my DSOD guide, once again, I got very common recommended stuff you should get. The biggest, most popular is Wolf HUD because it's simple, you drop it in, you're done. Similar to Vanilla HUD Plus, which is what I use, Injunction of Void UI. To get Wolf HUD, you need to obviously go to the site. And as it says right here, do not download it from the mod workshop, get it from the GitHub site. Because that's where the author has been kindly updating it. Vanilla HUD Plus is a similar story with their own GitHub site. I have a different version, a much older version, that I will be showcasing. Void UI. Since I play a lot of Anarchist and Crew Chief, those are two health number crunching decks. And of course, who likes to see your HP go super low or super high? And it's very nice to catch cheaters with this mod as well. Now use it in conjunction with Vanilla Hut Plus with certain settings. Vanilla Hut Plus and Void UI. Now this is like the biggest question a lot of people have been asking me, how do you get Wolf out working with Void UI? It just crashes. Honestly, the number one thing you should do is disable everything. From... Void UI. So if I go to Void UI, you can see uh, some stuff is disabled. I have joining players enabled, but subtitles off, player chat off, stat screen. 
I have the stat screen disabled on Vanilla Hunt Plus. Labels and waypoint off, interaction detection off, notifications off, heist timer objectives pretty much off. Salt panel as well. Like I said, I do a lot of number crunching and this is where I keep the panels and the joining players and of course the stat screen. Because then I can see if there's any like bot buffs. If they got protector reinforcer or if I need to take those into accountability. Or account, I can't English. So those are really the only things I have enabled. Yeah, I don't even have this enabled. Everything else is enabled here. So as for Vanilla Hunt Plus, I have this ticked off, which obviously I don't have a player panel or a teammate panel. I'm letting Void UI take care of it. And of course, kill counter options gone, other odd options, nothing really fancy. It's just pretty standard stuff. Like I said, you disable everything off of one and you enable the opposite. And again, I'm using a very old version of Vanilla Hut Plus because specific settings I kind of liked. There's a few bugs and issues with it that does crash when you go over map pre-plans, but it's not a big issue to me, so I just manually put everything anyways. And I have this turned off. When I have it turned on, it has problems with Void UI. Otherwise, everything else is pretty standard. And it's no different than most setup for Vanilla Hut Plus or Wolf Hut. Low violence mode, as I recommend again. Same spot, drop into the mods, right here. You see this little happy cleaner? And what this mod does is any enemy you kill, it disappears. Really good, keeps your FPS relatively stable. And it makes it quick for tracking from target to target. We're still moving? Go on. Let's get moving, Matt. Another recommended mod that is totally optional is either a customizable crosshair or having accurate lasers, as you can see in this representation. With the mod, it gets closer to a proper crosshair. So whatever suits your boat, I'd recommend this if you're having troubles to aim, or if you want something more consistent, or if you want to learn sniping, that sort of thing. Currently, I have it turned off Alpha Zero, which is the opacity of the crosshair. Yes, I got the mod installed. I could use it anytime. But it puts a nice little crosshair, and anytime you ADS or use your scope, crosshair disappears. You can customize this how you will. I'll showcase this later. The last two I recommend is no screen shake. This doesn't change any stability or accuracy on weapons. All it does is when you fire a bullet, the border of the screen literally shakes. I don't know why, maybe it's immersion, but there's still recoil on the guns. May look a lot less compared to vanilla. However, you can get your less headache mod here. Lastly is custom maps. I totally recommend one of them is Proving Grounds, which I showcased in one of my previous videos. This you can do a lot of testing with your builds and do a little arena Proving Grounds to test your own if you want to go solo and that kind of stuff. And like I said, you need beer lib for a lot of this stuff. Um, after you get all that, you'll basically get a big 
menu, when you go to main menu, click here, blah, 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 this is all you get. So download manager, this is, I'm pretty sure part of beer lib or super BLT, whichever, not a big deal. I use less inaccurate laser because that's obviously nice for me. Vanilla HUD Plus. Now, I know a lot of people are like, HUD mods are very cheaty. Now, this is a big political debate, but it's very agreed upon the community that a lot of people use it. Frankly so, there's a lot of discrepancies and bad descriptions for a lot of skill sets and a lot of things in heist objectives and weapons that aren't really covered properly with vanilla or in the game itself. Vanilla HUD Plus basically fixes all that, similar to Wolf HUD. And when I stream, I kind of like to educate those just to say, hey, this is what I got here. This is how many dozers are on the map. This is, oh, we're getting near to the end of the salt because we just completed this part of the map because we finished this drill, that sort of thing. Or if we just need to grab certain pieces of loot or complete the objective in a certain fashion. And of course, keep an eye on buff timers because one very famous skill that people dislike and rightfully so, because Overkill has it butchered in the description, is Unseen Strike. Unseen Strike gives you 35% more crit. Take a bullet, wait 4 seconds, pop out, you get 6 seconds of super damage. Without Vanilla HUD Plus and or Wolf HUD, you're missing out on a lot. I can easily play Vanilla, I've done it, but I'm not going to go over the whole explanation of whatever choices you want to make. But I highly recommend this, especially for any new player trying to start into the game and trying to learn, because this will definitely speed it up. Nexus Graze doesn't kill civvies. Since I do a lot of sniping, pretty much a sniper main at this point, any time I host, it doesn't kill civvies. Because I don't know why Overkill decided to program Graze killing civilians when you make a kill right next to them. I, maybe it counts it as an enemy? I don't know. But, like, I'm clearly not hitting the civvy on purpose. <laughs> so I'd recommend this. No cloak or camera movement. This thing's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, I, I don't know why the camera likes doing 360s. When I could just properly aim myself. Skill tree background restoration. That's basically any time I'm in my inventory. And I go to my skills, you see the anime characters. That I've showcased in a lot of my builds and pictures and stuff. Which a lot of people are already cringing because of anime, but whatever. No duplicated bullets. This is needed for FSS, Full Speed Swarm, and Eider. I generally keep this because it reduces a bit of lag as well. Similar to low violence mode. But this is just a nice to have. It's nothing really game changing or anything. Music control. I can literally change music on the fly in the high, stealth, loud, whatever. This thing's amazing. So what you need to do with it, in your mod options, there's music control. There's a list in the mod folder itself. And once you update it and select based on your settings with sound custom highest playlist list, it'll basically take these songs, whatever are checkmarked, and put them into a playlist. And as you can tell, the music, well, just changed because that's how the sound thing is. But anyways, this allows you to change anything on the fly. Really like it because vanilla, once again, you don't want to be listening to the same song for over an hour if you're doing a cook-off for a 25-bag achievement or a holdout because that's ridiculous. Bag carrying tilt removal. If you want consistency in your shooting, similar to no screen shake, I'd recommend this as well. I, I get it for the immersion part, but like when you're so muscle memoried into sniping, this is a nice little half. Because that little tiny bit of a tilt, I have severely missed so many shots. And I've actually lost some heist because a bag tilt. Free cam. This thing allows you to literally free cam into the sky. But it can be a little bit abusive. And I don't want to go over all of it. But you hit the hot key and you're able to fly around and look at stuff similar to no clip. And of course I have my HD and Neptunia bank mods already showing, which we'll go over in a bit. But yeah, as you can see here with the menuing, you can see that you can apparently pause things, drop player, 
or you can turn the game speed and your camera speed as well. So this is why you typically want to do this for single player, not online, because it can get really, really abusive. I'm not going to go over all the full details, but you get what I mean. Crime net cleanup. This is simply a, a visual mod. So if you saw earlier, I basically don't have those ugly lines so I can see this blinding picture in the background. That's all it does, nothing fancy. Extra profiles, skills, and sets. This was a very common one because I got this a lot of my YouTube comments. What this one is is simply if you go into your inventory, you can have more than 15 builds. I don't understand why the hell Overkill decided to say 15 builds is enough for the game. There is 21 perk decks in the game. Why should we have 15 when there's 21, let alone all the weapons and different sets you can have? Look how many crew chief anarchist builds I have. It's just too many for me to count right now. And I play, of course, other perk decks as well. So that allows me to get extra skill sets and extra profiles for my builds. Speaking of builds, since my game crashed and everything died, you can check them out here. So you can basically copy and paste them or any other favorite builder or stuff you want to try. You can use the extra profile skills and sets for that reason. Last very changing one is a day-night change option. This is kind of like if you want to set the mood for whatever daytime heist you want. If you want to turn cook off to day, you can do it with this, or if you can turn Hoxton Breakout to night, you can do it with that. Let's go to your options, day-night changes, and you can see all the stuff for different contracts. So if you're getting pissed off with all the night heist or whatever for Hector, the escapes, or like I said, cook-off, you can easily change it here and make it bearable. Because Zeal Cops from an infinite range, of course you can't see them, but they can see you with their lovely game. And of course all the other contracts you can play with too. I generally keep everything else at default. I know a lot of people are like, hey, it's nighttime, it's supposed to be the game thing. It's like dead. Do you want me to die or not succeed? Or not make space for you so you don't die, I guess? But nonetheless, you can tweak and turn a lot of stuff however you want just to play with things. And as in my recent videos, Shacklethorn Auction has rain inside the building, which I think is kind of funny. So I keep it there for that reason. So more graffiti and of course cook off. You can actually see stuff and whatnot. So in case you want to do cook off in the day or do cook off, uh, what's a little, what's a crazy option we should do? So I just go day night, um, go to Bane. There's cook off. Like I said, I have early morning. If we do foggy bright evening, you'll see how crazy this becomes. The difficulty icons, as I mentioned, and there you go. Now, now I can't even see a thing. So you can quickly, quickly change things. However you see fit. Time selector is better, can change my game without restarting. Yeah, there's probably an updated mod to this version. This is what I used. But yeah, there's like, you have no visual of what the hell's happening. Last is WCAT, walking cop alarm terminated. Now the old payday mod site is dead. That's why mod workshop is now the alternative. And that's where I got this from, from the old site. So anytime you kill a civvy, it basically says you are paying X amount of dollars for Bane's therapy. Absolutely hilarious. So feel free to check that one out. So instead of the annoying, um, the fine or whatever for accidentally killing a civvy, it says at the top, walking cop alarm terminate, because truly that's what they are. So WSOC, let's recap, WSOC gets into your root folder, makes a mods folder, you get beer lib for all the customizable stuff, you put all your mods in here, as we already discussed, 
any visual stuff that isn't changing the game, only your facing client goes into mod overrides. So in the assets folder, you toss things into mod overrides. And this is where you see a lot of the mask mods, especially what was on front. This is a good one. Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Thank you for the 10 bits, Anchor Chan. Um, so any of the visual stuff that, like, you saw in the background, such as all the anime pictures, the masks, and, of course, the different texture-looking bank heist we saw earlier testing with Free Flight Cam, literally pops in here. So I'm going to go over every single one relatively quickly and as fast as I can. So, first up, we got a Sora mask. So I got a bunch of masks here. Basically this mask. Guess I can quickly go over masks. Mega Greed. B2. B1 Nisa. Sora. Kazuna AI. There's some other Neptunia masks. And of course the next crazy ones. Gonna be a pain in the ass going through all the footage for this. Eh. We'll be working on this for a while. You have a skin. Now with the Infamy 3.0 update, they kind of changed this a little bit. It used to be like a skin down here. But if you go to customize, there's collectible color packs, and then there's mods. This is basically what puts that weep shit on your guns. So there you go. Uh, next one is the Sulfo Sautag. What this one is, is the it changes the ICU drill for No Mercy. Kind of a funny mod. So here is the Astolfo drill. It gives the door a good old sucky suck. So, stare into Astolfo's eyes and take it. Place the saw. It has the outline of the teddy bear, but you know Astolfo gives a good sucky suck. So there you go. It gives it a good four minute long sucking and it flashes, taking all the lovely white stuff. So there you go. Good drill. BL2 HUD. This is what gives me the text change for every text in the game. And there was like a BL2 HUD at one point I tried, and it came with all the fancy fonts. And that's basically what I kept, was just the fonts. Blue Dogu, that changes the medic bag to a cute little anime thing, I guess. Yes, I've been told medic bag. Thank you again, chat. So here's the medic bags. So if you use one, that's why you do painkillers. Um, it actually shrinks comparatively in size based on how many charges it has. So again, mod creator did a really good job. So it can get really tiny. So it's like, oh, it's a really tiny medic bag. So there's a loading background. I basically took the color loading screens mod and just, as you see here, modified. Inside here, there's all the locational information for every single heist for their loading stuff. We view by large icons. You can kind of see the author put a picture, what they're supposed to be, next to the texture. Um, the way to modify these, you need a plugin on Photoshop. All you simply do is make a DDS file that's 1920 by 1080. And as you can see here, it shows a little thumbnail picture. I got a new computer, I'm not going to go over all the details, but basically you need a, a 3D-like program just to make these files. And after you make the file, you simply rename the DDS file .texture. And there you go. So you do this for basically every single one. That was another example. Another anime picture. It has to be saved as a DDS file, but Payday 2 reads them as a texture, and that's how you do it. And the resolution that works is 1920 by 1080, similar to a standard, I don't know, 
24 inch screen I guess so that's all the loading screens I have anyways I'm gonna make a quick little example of how to make your own custom backgrounds so I'm using Photoshop um, here's the previous one that you saw in the video earlier like I said it's a DDS file you gotta have a certain name and all that fun stuff so here's the first one here so I just go into Photoshop just go new like I said, I have a 1920 by 1080. This is the picture here. So let's pick a picture, anything that you want, preferably something relatively similar to a wallpaper. So we'll just use something from Disgaea. So I got a little picture here, for example. So simply drag it into Photoshop, copy it, paste it in, do your fancy, make it bigger. I might need to use like Waifu 2X or something just to make it clear or less pixelated, put it in, go file save. And then what you wanna do is save it as a DDS file. On the bottom left here, I do have the Photoshop plugin that you need to download. After you download and install it, you need to restart your computer, and then you can finally save things as a DDS file. So once this is ready, you can name it however you want it, so I'll just do Disgaea Background so I know what the heck it is, and then I can copy and paste it and change it to all of the missions within Payday 2, similar to that colored loading screen background mod. After you got your name ready to go in the location, hit save, and get prompted with a fancy little window. I haven't touched too much of the options here. The one that I always pick is this DXT5. Seems to work just fine. And I just hit save. And as long as your dimensions are correct, you won't get popped up an error. And there it is. Now you can just take this and move it into the colored loading screens and just rename it to whatever mission you need. Federal inventory, this came downloaded with the wolf HUD. So that's how I get the color guns inside um, builds and stuff. So if I go to say my loud build list you can kind of see this has color this used to be the old ahago skin but these actually have a little bit of texture same with the flashbangs and the buzzer stuff like that that gives more color to the image so as you can see not everything is up to date yet but there's color as opposed to a non-color variant so it makes it a little bit easier to find stuff Which I find really handy. Very helpful. And of course all the names that show up. I think that's a Vanilla Hut Plus feature. Legendary Armor Skins. Inside Mod Overrides. LAS. This is for the other characters. You can... is basically Legendary Armor Skins allows me to have... If anybody wants to be super weeb in the chat. Scroll up and you can have characters that a lot of modders have created. And the one I probably use the most is Kazuna. Ignore the shoulders. Ignore the gloves and there you go. You get anime waifu. But this thing has a high tendency to crash. So I don't really use it a lot. It's nice when I see other people use it, but that's about it. Uh, infamy card, that just changes the background of the infamy cards. Hyper HUD, Rebirth. I did some modification to this, which doesn't conflict with Void UI, Vanilla HUD Plus, that sort of thing. And of course, that shows all the background HUD stuff anyways. Kashi Kashi, this is a sound with a glass cutting noise. Because it got so sick and tired of the screeching, especially when I stealth Diamond Heist multiple times. So... If you're sick and tired of glass cutting noises, listen to this. Much better! Now I put my name to some of these mods so I can find them later any time I wanted to change them, but... Nonetheless, modified art. These are all the... Paintings! For First World Bank, and some of these affect other heists, such as Big Oil and Diamond Heist. So, First Weeb Bank will finally be released.
So here's a uh, first wave bank textures. As I said, I changed a lot of paintings. There's that. Dolls. Some of the paintings here. More paintings here. And whatever RNG you get, paintings there, 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 there. There's some more loot stuff. Again, I haven't been banned on Twitch, so it should be safe. Uh, security cams. Yes, these are the loot security cams, but obviously they're still uh, relatively safe for children's eyes. Because before I started streaming, I had actual rated 18 plus stuff, but this changes the security cams for banks and other security rooms and such. There you go. I should make this the YouTube thumbnail. So I just picked a ton of genres. Stuff. I guess. Everything's covered. Closely enough. I guess. Kazuna LAS. That's the legendary armor skin we saw earlier. Kazuna AI Sydney. This is an entire sound bank that whoever took a lot of work changed all of Sydney. Well, shouldn't say all of Sydney's voice lines, but the majority of Sydney's voice lines because a lot of them I don't like. So using this was really nice. It says fuck you a lot, and I say fuck you a lot too, so it works out. Good mod, get it. Hawks and Breakout Evidence. This makes finding the evidence faster. It highlights the boxes in red. It doesn't really tell you which one it is. It just makes it a little bit easier. Kind of looks like Super Hot, which I think is cool. Lude at Neptunia Hawks and Breakout 2. This is what Hawkston's looking up on the screens. Just changes the screens. And yes, they're... may say Lude, but it's... Still relatively. I mean, I've been streaming with it, so I haven't been banned, right? So it should be fine. Modern Warfare Sound Pack, I very modified the hell out of this just to change the WA2000 sound inside the XML. But basically, this changes a lot of sounds, which there's a lot of OGG files. And as you can tell, I've only modified one. But... You can get this if you want to try different sounds for weapons. So you notice how we're getting into weapons. The biggest and most one I use the most is the intervention for the rattlesnake. Because I use the rattlesnake almost daily. So it sounds like the old MW2 intervention. Rattlesnake sniper. Fuck you! Basically. The intervention from MW2. Which is music to my ears. Same thing with AK-5, I got a sound for that. That sounded such as the ACR. Now, there isn't a change for the silence variant, but... M82A1, this is the Barrett 50 Cal, or the Thanatos. Sounds like the sniper from MW2. We're at a 50 Cal. Sounds very similar to MW2, of course. One more. M1014 shotgun, the M1014 sound there, which I like playing with that shotgun as well. Sounds very similar to, of course, the one in MW2. So, there's that. Nikopara Art Gallery. So, if you want to change all the paintings um, for Art Gallery, there you go. First, I went in high detail with it. Nikopara to everything. I can see users in chat cringing already, which is fine. Textured the shit out of every little brochure. 
Even the security guard is enjoying the little postcards. So, text got changed by my creator, put in a bunch of websites. I can see people are typing it in chat already. And here's just the small little showcase of some paintings. Looks a lot better in daylight, to be all honest. Some paintings get reused, of course, but I mean like... You can get doubles. So yeah. Lots of stuff. Inkapara Dakimakura loot bags. If you've seen my infamy video, you'll see... Lots of Nikapara loot bags. Dakimakura of Nikopara. As you can see, one side is one character, and the other side is the other character. So, throw it up. And throw you there, and there you go. So, loot bags. Interaction icon pack, that was just a cute little add-on. Changes the icons for, you know, saw, lockpick, C4, that kind of thing. Neptunia Bank. Yeah, this is gonna be... This is... This is how to turn your bank into a wild ride. Neptunia Trash. Not like Neptunia's trash itself, but it just decals the trash bins. Pretty cool. Net Van, same thing, decals the van. Net Bowl, this changes the first aid kit to a... Uh, nice little capsule. The first aid kits. Because they look a lot better than regular first aid kits. So a lot of things in the visual model here, as you can see, the trash ban, trash bin, van, whatever. That's changed. This has changed. And again, big shout out to all the mod creators. Like, holy crap. The HD retexture mod actually looks sweet. And as you can tell, I had conflicts with the net bank because I wanted the most disgusting texture ever. That just spams. Super purple. I know a lot of people are like, Oh my god, the bank's scary. Yeah, which is kind of true. Another thing too, is that with that net bank, you can kind of see textures of other ice. Which is pretty hilarious. This actually helps for Brooklyn 1010. For when you gotta go find the briefcase. So you know which vault door to open. It's basically the one with pink hair, purple hair, whatever, net hair, whatever you want to call it as nep skills killed again i modified this so that i know what i modified but this is all those anime characters i showed earlier on the skill loading tree background restoration neptune jacket so jacket could become a weeb so here's jacket with his neptune picture it's got nep with her outfit and the co the gun's covering her panties, so good censorship. So download it to find out what her panties look like. Also, where's your mask? There you go. Now it looks better. PC wallpaper. This changes the computers and bank heist and other places to have a anime background on it. Well, there's the PC. It looks a little bit better in the Neptunia bank. Neptunia Concert changes the lasso to have crazy amount of stuff. Not like anybody does the lasso anyways, because that that heist is annoying. And now we got rid of Alesso's face and put on better stuff. And to properly use free flight cam, you use it to look at stuff. Like cool t-shirts and waifus and stuff. But it definitely, to me, obviously looks better than staring at the same guy's face a hundred times. A lot better. So whoever did this mod did a really good job. The so next time you want to stealth a lesser heist, you can look at better things. At least. Even the guy's shirt is pretty pog. <laughs> um, but yeah. I do like this mod as well. Neptunia difficulty icons that a lot of people have seen that on my streams and videos. Basically, 
Changes the difficulty icons. Obtaining graffiti. This affects a lot of heists. I like this one a lot. As it changes the walls and all the graffiti. Say biker heist, heat street, safe house, stuff like that. Neptunia packages. Gauge packages now have T-posing characters, which is hilarious. Let's see if we can find a gauge package so I can kind of showcase the differences. So yeah, the gauge packages are a little bit different. You can still see they have shadows and a hitbox, but you can grab them like a normal gauge package. We got a buzzer that changes a printing weapon sword. And same for the ice pick. So a few weapon modifications, but I mean, it's all visual. I can showcase the mask again. There's the melee. See if I can glitch it really quick. So there you go. There's a visual of the melee. Guess anybody was wondering. It was the same thing as the buzzer that I had. And uh, yeah, Kaboo Dozer. This is where you can see a woo faces on the dozers, which is fucking hilarious. So, bulldozers. There was a woo dozers that was in the description. Want a woo dozer? Gone. Seal dozers. Gone. And of course, a woo dozers across them all. I guess not everybody plays Death Sentence, so here's more regular dozer. And of course, Minigun Dozer. And, yep, they're just, as you see, they're all Awu Dozers. Yeah. Portal 2 turret. This was like a first mod I decided to get. Changes turrets to Portal 2 turrets, which is any Source or Valve fan would like. So here's a turret. Or Sentry. It's Portal. Cool. 199.5 first person sleeves. I don't know what the fuck Overkill was thinking to show wrist, but I like the full sleeve, so I included it's that in there. Turn. Okay, who's bugging me? Thank me, or get out of here. Thank you for the host. Pretty hero concussion, so the throwable flashbangs are now a pretty. Here's the little pretty I was showing earlier, so there's the concussion. Cute little guy. Can throw a pretty dude. Rainbow drill bag. Again, another early mod, I really didn't give a shit. Just changes the drill bag or the muriatic acid bag for lab rats. Retexture project. This is a big, big changer for a lot of heists. It visually changes stuff like bank heist, as we saw earlier. Big bank, Hoxton breakout, hotline Miami, slaughterhouse, stuff like that. I modified this slightly, but nonetheless, um, this is really nice if you're kind of sick and tired of vanilla textures. But he made gloves, black gloves for Sydney because the original ones are terrible. I like black gloves because black or white gloves. And it just makes sense. I don't know why blue, green, and weird colors. Shimakaze Kawaii Mask replaces the Kawaii Mask with a different mask. It was another mask mod. As you can tell, I abbreviated songs so I know where the hell all of them are. Some I created, which I had fun with. So feel free to grab those. And like or dislike them, I really don't care. Another cell mod I created was the Houston Trip Mine. I got sick and tired of the beeping noises because I used to stealth a lot. And Houston saying shit for when there's a guard. There you go. He's now with you wherever you go. Shit, 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 shit. <laughs> Uh, Toho Rip, I kind of did a modification here to the interaction and the detection meter. So it looks a little more detailed. So yes, there's a lot I kind of went over. I know I can't really kind of show every single one of them, but I'll try to get most of them as I can. And uh, yeah.